Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a displacement map, but this time with a ripple effect. So you can be able to take an image, create a ripple effect, but also you can see there that it looks like a stone's been sort of thrown into a pond and it gives you that lovely ripple. So this is slightly different to the displacement map that we've done with just a reflection. Um, this is going to give you that, that ripple effect. Okay, so I'm going to start from the beginning. So the first thing you want to do is go to image and then canvas size. And then from here, we want to change from pixels to percentage. And then on the height, type in 150 and click on the arrow at the top there. And what that will do, oh, and also make sure the canvas uh, is set to black. Okay, you can do that there. So press OK and you can see what that's done is that's added this area to the image. So then what we want to do is come up to the magic wand tool. Okay, so click there, pull down, come over to your image, make sure the tolerances are set to around five and anti-alice and contiguous is selected. Uh, and then click on the black area there. Okay, um, so once we've done that, we need to invert it. So we want to press Command, Shift, and I. Okay, and you can see there what that does is that selects in the top area of the image. Now what we want to do is copy this. So we come to the layer panels, you can see there's our background image. So we're going to press Command, J. Okay, and that will duplicate it twice. And you can see there that we've got duplicates now so we've just got <coughs> excuse me the top of the tree okay so once we've done that we want to drag the top of the image to the bottom okay so we press Control command t to transform and then click on the top and just drag it down okay just like we did in the other displacement map tutorial and then just hit enter and you can see there that's given us the start of our reflection okay once we've done that we need to then add a new layer so come down to the bottom here where you've got the plus sign click on that and that's added a new layer now what we want to do is um, we need to fill this with white so you want to press command delete all right and that will fill it with white so once we've done that, we then want to go up to filter and then go down to render, which is down here, and then select clouds. So within this, we want to bring up the levels selection. So command L for levels. And then in the gray areas, which is here, we want to type in two and press OK. Then what we're going to do is go back up to filter and go to distort and then this time we're going to select twirl so once you've done that make sure the angle is set to 200 okay so it's at 200 you can either move the slider or you can type it in like that and press okay and again filter distort and then zigzag <coughs> and this time we want the amount to be 85 ridges 18 and then on the style select pond ripples okay and then press OK for that then what we want to do is press command T to transform and then we're going to drag this image to the bottom so to there okay and then hit enter now once we've done that we just want to zoom out a little bit so we can see the image more and go to edit transform and then perspective and then what we want to do is drag out the lower corner so that we get the right perspective of the ripple effect it's about about there I'd say okay and then hit enter 
Now what we want to do is because if we bring that back up, you can see that the, the ripple effect is going up out of our canvas. So we need to kind of get rid of that. We need to crop it. Um, and a way to do that is to use the marquee rectangle tool, go to the bottom of the image, drag it up. Okay. And then from there, you can go to image and crop. Okay. And now that's just basically got rid of that um, displacement map that was over the other side and then press command D just to get rid of that. All right. Then what we want to do is go to layer, duplicate layer, which is here. And then within this, we want to go to the document and select new. And we're going to call this displacement map or whatever you want to call it. Okay. And then hit okay. So once we've done that, we want to close this window by clicking on the X there and then click save, select your desktop and make sure the format is a Photoshop. That is a PSD file, you can see up there. Okay, and then just hit save. And then when this comes up, ignore it and just press okay. All right, so now we've done that, excuse me, and what we want to do is come up to the layer here, which is the, the ripple effect here. And we want to drag that to underneath the two images there. Okay. We start to get that reflection come through. So once we've done that, select the top layer. All right. And then we want to go to filter and then go to this Distort, let me just find it, um, distort, and then displace, okay? Then once you do that, you will get these um, horizontal and vertical scales. These This will depend on your image. Um, I'm gonna use five and 50, but make sure you have stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels, okay? So once you've done that, press okay, and then we want to select the displacement map that we that we just saved a minute ago as a PSD file and click open. And then what we have got here is the result of that ripple effect, as you can see. Now, you can see there is a line here. And also, if we look really, really closely, you can see that um, some of the pixels have been basically been laid down vertically. So again, what we want to do is use the marquee tool, select the image up to that point. So I'm selecting it up to where then points start to move. Okay. Um, and then go to image crop that will then get rid of that. Press command D just to get rid of the selection. Um, what we can do is use the spot healing brush tool and we can just tidy up some of the some of the area here okay you can also m actually move the whole thing as well if you want to but usually this does a good job and it kind of tidy things up it hasn't there <laughs> so let's press command t and you can see there look we can actually just stretch it a little bit more um and let's I tell you what we can use this tool for areas like here Okay, just to tidy this up and then what we can do is use the eraser tool on the on the top area so let's go to the eraser tool and let's get the flow down opacity down and make sure that the hardness is at zero and we can then just lightly go over that line you probably won't see it anyway um, but just to blend it in so if you've got grass then you'll have the same issue but if you haven't then then you shouldn't have this issue it's just a repeat pattern that's all it is so just go over that just get rid of that line there we go so that is how you do it it's as simple as that okay now there are a few steps so you might need to you know watch the tutorial a few more times but once you've finished um, you can go to layer and flatten image and that will then bring everything 
together. Um, we can go to the history here, just click on the camera and then show you what we've just done. So we've created from that to that. So you get this lovely ripple effect there. So I hope that's helped. Um, give it a go and I look forward to seeing your images.